A freed man ordered back to prison. This week, the state issued an opinion on Courtney Anderson, a Memphis man who was sentenced to more than 160 years and served 25 of those. That decision was to overturn a local judge's call to give Anderson time served. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon is joining us live downtown. Kayla, a judge at that court right behind you said he was free to go. But now, less than a year later, this man's going to have to go back to prison? Yes, Darcy, that decision was made here in a courtroom at 201 Poplar less than a year ago. Now, a judge ultimately went and made sure that he could leave the same day back in December. But now, here we are, and he is ordered to go back because of a decision made by the state. Well, as when he got out, obviously, life felt like a second chance. Victory. Justice. That's what attorney Terrell Tootin says he was feeling last year when his client, Courtney Anderson, was set free. Anderson was charged with multiple theft and forgery charges in the late 1990s and was ultimately sentenced to 162 years in prison. But in December of 2022, a Shelby County judge amended Anderson's sentence to time served. Anderson was released that same day. So whenever you have a scenario where you feel like you can right a wrong, um, it, it feels rewarding. Uh, to see that happen. But less than a year later, the state court of criminal appeals overturned the judge's decision. When the ruling came out, um, then it was a feeling of, uh, as you can imagine, a lot of stress, a lot of sadness, a lot of hurt, um, a lot of a lot of uh, fear of walking into the unknown and and just it just I guess if I could describe them in one word, I'd say broken. Tootin says his client must now deal with the reality that he could be ordered back to prison. But he says they're weighing all their options for what's next. We will be working on an appeal to the Tennessee uh, Supreme Court um, to see if there's any relief that can be granted for him there. Um, in addition, we'll be looking into seeing if there's a clemency that can be granted. Now, Anderson's attorney that you just heard from, he says ever since Anderson was released, he's been living with family in Virginia and he is not back here in Tennessee yet. Now, coming up at 10, I'll break down more of what this decision.